Hello and welcome back to another episode of Seiko Modder. Before we get started on this bad boy right here, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on the bottom right hand corner and we will get started on this in just a moment. So what we have here is going to be a Seiko Nautilus. This is a very well executed piece. It, piece. it is just a really, really beautiful. So rose gold slash copper, if you will. So it definitely uh, stands out. It has that nice texture the blue um, dial in the background. Case diameter on this is going to be 39.5 uh, millimeters thick, so certainly not too big. Uh, case uh, thickness on it, of course, is 13 millimeters, so again, not too thick. Um, the lugs on this is, th this is an integrated bracelet band, so you actually will not be able to change out the bracelet if you wanted to put something something different on it. Um, it is a very nice bracelet though. Um, movement on this of course is going to be the NHA35 movement so it's an automatic movement that allows for allows for a manual wind and hacking capabilities. If you flipped around just to check out the case back you can kind of see what it looks like under the hood. So I'm gonna try to get that in the frame. Again super reliable easy piece to work on and get maintained and serviced of course. You can see the rotor kind of spinning. Anyways, date complications right there, of course, so when you get it into its first position, you can change the date wheel right there. Second position, it's going to be to change the time. And remember, this one right here is not a sub, so it is not a screw down crown. So when you're done, just push it all the way back in. That's what it looks like. Uh, flipping it around on the bracelet side, it is a butterfly butterfly style bracelet. Need that focus. Sorry about that. And then it would just go like that, like that, and then you would just uh, secure it with this little clasp. I will say there is a little bit of that right there. I'll try to get it in the frame, and that's just how that brace this bracelet comes. Again, aside from that, it is in the bottom. Nobody's going to really notice it, but very beautiful piece, as I mentioned. Copper slash rose gold. I'm not exactly sure what one would call this. I personally would call it copper. If you're interested in this, make sure to send me an email. It can be found in the description. I'm probably going to have only a few of these. Just want to make sure that it's popular first. Again, zooming out, my wrist is 19 centimeters, which is seven and a half inches. And of course, I think it looks beautiful. Fits my wrist well. Buying instructions again are going to be in the description. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe. See you on the next one.